At Lemons Family Field on homecoming. And fake to Kassebaum. Sean's going to go deep, looking long, going to throw it. And there's Leon Johnson right on cue as Leon Johnson takes it to the 25-yard line. And that is going to be a 50-yard pass to the backfield with the Bruins here. He had a great give, block on that last yeah, play. Give it back to Kassebaum again. Shades of tackle, 20, moves up into the middle, and he's going to get down to the 15. Leon Johnson, far right. Look at the throw. Sean now. It's going to roll to the right. It's going to throw it on the run. Puts it. Gets it into the hands. Of number 81 there. And that is Hawker and each Adam Hawker. For Hayden Sean and the George Fox offense. Jason Santoni is perfect. And it's 7 0. Game again. They have one of the lowest rush yards per game in the nation. They rank 228 out of 240 of all Division Three teams. Justin Montejo on cue. Takes it. And he's going to go the distance. Justin Montejo, I was just about to say he got a line drive kick, and that is not a great scene for Willamette as Montejo takes it the distance on a beautiful, as he cut up, that the Bruins are going to go up 14-0. Four and two touchdowns as well against Pacific. Third down and 12, Kaikadal under a heavy rush, and he's going to go down, and on the sack right there. Making his move inside there is number 55. That's in, in motion. Fake to Kassabom. Sean going up top again to Leon Johnson. Johnson's in the clear, and he's down to the 15-yard line. That's not fair. That is just a beautiful throw up, and just tell my receiver, go grab it. He's cheating over there. Third down and 11. Sean to throw. Looking to the left. going to pass it. Gets it off to the side. Going to throw it in there, and it's complete. And it's going to be down, it looks like, at the one-yard line where it's first and goal for the Bruins. And it looks like Sean called his own number there. And, and actually, they gave it on the inside. On the offensive end. Calls his own number and gets it. Now it's going to be Genovia on a little pitch there. And nobody was fooled by that one, including Joe James. Fourth down. Fourth and seven. Bruins looking to stop this drive. Kaikendall to throw. Now he's got some time and he throws it and it's gonna be blocked by Wyatt Adams as Adams came across and Montejo line for the Bearcats. Hand off to Castillo. Castillo's going nowhere. Castillo's going absolutely nowhere in here now. Two for seven on third down in this game. Now Kaikendall to throw and Joe James! Joe James with the sack as he came over from the left side and Kaikendal didn't even see him. Just about two minutes on the clock and a muffed kick. Ball is on the ground and it's picked up by George Fox. And running it into the end zone is Sean. What a play for George Fox. That was like slow motion that he was running into the end zone. I thought they were going to blow him dead. Yeah, I did too. Well, that is a touchdown for the Bruins as Adams bobbles the snap. And Sean is going to throw. Looking to throw. Now he's going to throw the screen. He's got Kassebaum. Kassebaum to the 40. Kassebaum to the 30. And he's going to be out of bounds at the 28-yard line. 53 seconds left in the first half. Santoni puts it up. And he is going to kick it. And that is through. Yards. 46 yeah. yards. Fox. And talk about grit. Here's some grit for the defense here. Kaikadal looking to throw. It's going to throw it on the run. Oh, and it's going to be dropped. It's almost picked off. And talk about a half he would have had. Play here right before the half. Sam Adams gets the hunt off. And he kicks it. And it's on a line drive again. Here goes Montejo. Montejo up the middle to the 30. Out to the outside. Here he goes. He's got one man to beat. It's going to be Adams. Adams is going to miss him. But a great tackle. And he the ball goes, ball. he pitched it, and it's going to be a touchdown. He pitched it to Lucas Schwinn, and it's going to be a touchdown, and what a play. And Montejo on the line drive. You cannot kick it to him on a line drive like that. It set him up perfectly, and how about the presence of mind? <laughs> and they just showed the replay yeah, here at the, the stadium. The crowd is going crazy as Santoni has to wait for Montejo to put down, you know, Montejo has to take a deep breath and then come out and hold for the extra point. Oh, third down and nine, ball on the 26, he's gonna take it. Now he gets it, Wyatt Adams coming straight in on him. 
and he's not going to make the tackle, but he sets it up for Brabeck, and Brabeck's going to get the sack. Damn it's showing some pressure here. Sean's going to throw it, trying to throw it to the side, going to Johnson, and Johnson makes the catch. And Johnson's still on his feet, down to the 35-yard line. And two receivers to the left, one to the right. Hands it to Candanoza. Candanoza's going to take it, and he gets it inside down to the 29-yard line. Tali in the backfield. They're going to give it to Atali, and Atali's just going <laughs> to move right up there. Davis was like on his yep. piggyback there. Sean is going to hand it to Kassebaum. Kassebaum, wrong end, looks to cut on the inside, and he's going in for the score. Ethan Kassebaum goes in for the score, and he makes it 43-7. to Justin Montejo will hold. Santoni gets the kick. And he puts it through, and it's 44-7 to in the backfield. Now he's going to give it to Castillo, and he fakes it. And coming in on the play was Sean. Sean can't come up with a sack, but they're going to say the flag, and it looks like we may have some holding here on the Bruins. We'll wait to see what happens. But Montejo made the interception, by the way. The ball looked like it was completely going out of bounds. It's near sideline, which we have trouble seeing, but he makes the interception. And the fumbling has definitely mm -hmm. been an issue. The penalties, but the little things How about really this make punt? a difference. How about this punt? Oh, if it doesn't go in the end zone. What a punt. 70-yard punt. With Pacific and Linfield and others in the waiting. So 44 to 14 is our final as the two teams are gonna walk across the field and call the day as the sun shines and what a beautiful day it was for football for Bruins fans.